ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Ha <laughs> ha, you thought I was the jolly red guy in the other suit. No, this is Tito. Hola, amigos. Welcome to my third annual Christmas Village Hall. Now the first piece I want to talk about is going to be this one right here, which is part of the Pioneer Woman collection. Now she is Reed Drummond from the Food Network show Pioneer Woman. Now this one is the second house to her collection. The last year's house was the Mercantile, uh, the restaurant and gift shop. Now this one is actually Pete Town Pizza selling pizza. But this one here has a nice balcony and staircase and brickwork on the back. A little plain, but you won't see that if you're placing this on a row of houses. And it actually says wood fire pizza. So that's really good. I wish I had like a little window scene so you can see them making pizza. Uh, so, but not a bad, bad piece. This would go really well with the mercantile in a row. I already got Reed Drummond with holding a, a pie. My next house is going to be this one here, which is the Berkshire Residence. I'm not sure who's the Berkshires, but and why they have this nice house. Just kidding. Now, this one here does have a window scene uh, right here. Now, it looks like a Victorian style building. Brickwork all the way around. Little chimney on top. And inside the house, I see the lady of the house decorating a Christmas tree by the fireplace. Not bad at all. All right, let's continue on with the next one. This one is the Village Cabin. That's this piece right here. This will go very well in my woodland scene area of my village. Um, so this one here has a nice uh, outdoor balcony seating area for you to see the world. All right, let's continue on. This one here is called Jake's Barbershop. Now, the reason why I had to get this one is because I have a nephew who is a barber, really good one. Uh, he lives in Texas. And this one here, even though it says Jake's, I'm thinking about just going in and just changing the name and just putting Obi. That's his name. And next door is a tattoo parlor. I'll change that too. Either way, I'm going to fix this to represent him and his love for cutting hair. Um, also says shave and haircut on it. Um, very nice. Now, by the way, all of those houses that you've seen so far all came from Walmart, including my next one, which is this one here, a holiday fountain. Now, it's not a house, but it's a fountain, really nice piece. The one I had in my village for several years actually stopped working. So I had to get a new one. It's a different style. Uh, this one has some lion head on the fountain itself. Doesn't have the lamp post on it, but it does have the lanterns, which does light up. Now this little house right here is from Dollar Tree. This is part of their cobblestone Corners collection. Now this one here is actually plastic, not like the other ones. Now this one here, what makes this one different is you don't need a, one of those big lights, electrical lights. You just remove this. And right there you put a battery operated tea light right there, turn it on, and it will illuminate this house. Now my next two pieces is actually a Lee Max signature piece. Now, I actually have two, but one of them I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, because that one I love so much, and I have not opened it, I have not seen it yet, 
That one I got gifted from my brother Charlie and his wife Gladys. Thank you very much. Now, that one's going to be an actual unboxing because that one is brand new for me. Now, this one he also got me. This one is this piece, which is the Honeysuckle Cottage. Now, when I saw this at Michael's, I fell in love with it, not knowing that he was going to get it for me. Loved it so much. Now, this piece has a thatch roof on top, which is very neat because I think I don't have any roof like this. Now, when I saw this, it reminded me of the story of uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, this is kind of a fantasy style building. Now, this one, I think maybe you'll see in Europe, in England. Um, nice 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 piece now for our next one we're gonna just go ahead and do accessories and figurines and then we'll continue with the very last piece which is the second Lee Max which is gonna be fantastic now as you can tell I have tons and tons of accessories and figurines here so I got it from Michaels, from Hobby Lobby, from Walmart, from Dollar Tree, you name it, everywhere. Now, first piece is gonna be this one here, which is Toys for Tots. Um, got a family with a baby being gifted a teddy bear by this Marine. Now, the piece is actually called Toys for Tots Marine Stroller. Also got this, which is lighted lamp post. Candy cane style with the Santa's hat on top, lighted. So very nice. Now this one will definitely go into the North Pole scene near Santa's village. And since I got two, maybe I'll place the next one uh, on Main Street, who knows. So very nice addition to my village. Now I have said this many times before and I'll keep saying it over and over. The trees is what makes a village come to life. Now, the more trees you have, the livelier it will get. Now, this piece right here, I got many, many times. If you remove the base on this tree, stick it onto the foam, which is the reason why I start with a foam base on my village. That way, it'll look more realistic. It'll be firm so it won't topple over. Now the final piece, here it is. It is the Limax Signature, the Nutcracker Factory. Yes. Now this one, I have to say, I geek out when I saw this. Um, I was not expecting this. Thank you, Charlie. Now this one is an actual unboxing because I have not opened it or seen it yet. I hope it's still intact. Actually, it's plastic. <laughs> no, 
thought it was gonna be a little heavier, but it's not. It's really light. Well, there it is. Now, uh, I need to plug it in so I can see how this works. All right, I got my extension cord. Plug. Here we go. Plugged in. And let's turn it on. enjoyed this haul um, hope you got some of it now I'm gonna be doing the next video where I'm gonna be actually setting up my village uh, goes a little bit more in detail on how I put together that and I uh, hope you enjoyed it so until my next video adios amigos <laughs>